I love some of those early scenes they show coming in because Laban still had his original hair. In some I of beg your beautiful <laughs> pardon. I talk about hair. <laughs> Mine's kind of getting You want to get strange, in a hair and God yes with me? <laughs> <laughs> this really is my real hair, but it. I was somewhere the other day. Yeah. I, I was. I was. In, so was I. I was somewhere the other day, and someone says, "What is wrong with your hair?" And I says, "Well, I've just fluffed it a little bit. Uh -huh. I don't know. There's a lot of that going yeah. around our camera person." Fly like fluffed. His hair. <laughs> Welcome to our housewarming. That's right. It is a little warm in here. Yeah, we're going to heat up your home too. Stick around. What's a housewarming to you? Well, it's when somebody moves into a new abode and you go over and you take them some food and some paper towels and other little things. When's you know, the stuff. last time you've ever attended uh, a house or oh, and I done something nice for one of your neighbors? Well, I do nice things for people. Oh, okay. I do. No, I mean, frequently. but a housewarming specifically. R reasonably, not uh, too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that have I you, have, have ever, ever been, been to a housewarming in my life. I don't think so. I mean, I've been where you go and give gifts, but I've never taken food. Oh, yeah. On the first... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Hammerstrong, if you didn't hear that, nobody ever invited him. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. What can you say? All right. Now, look, I can't believe it. For the first time in 10 years, we're going to collaborate on a recipe today. We're also going to work together on this <laughs> recipe. What's too. the name of it? Yeah. This is uh, a beef garden casserole, and I must tell you that I really am a little suspicious of foods that combine corn and green beans. Which where did I, we get this recipe? Well, this one came, uh, does, uh, both recipes sent in by Juliet Allen of Kingsport, Tennessee. Please do not mention this on the air uh, for, th <laughs> for threat of lawsuit of the station. No, I'm only kidding. Yeah. Uh, she's a sweet person, Juliet, yeah. and uh, but and anyway, of course, she sent it I've got to do the topping, and it forces me to do something that I don't like to do, <laughs> and that is Work? I have to no, I have oh, to oh. roll something out. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I'm going to start, and this. It says, use your favorite biscuit recipe. Well, well, it's too bad it didn't say that you should lay somebody out, which oh, is what know, you do, do enjoy real, doing I, a, yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, Go ahead. anyway, I laid out some old lady the other day. Oh, no, that's Saturday. Not Yeah, nice. really, it was. She started in on something, this trip she had taken, and I got real huffy about her attitude about where she'd been somewhere, and I just really laid her out. Well, I'll swap. I wish she'd been there. Anyway, two <laughs> cups of flour. This recipe, incidentally, comes from the Rumford Cookbook. This is the 1941 edition, which was the year of my nativity. Available in old bookstores <laughs> right. everywhere. And uh, matter of fact, this is a cookbook that my mama and my grandmama used for years. You and can this see. this is the very actual one. It still has his little teething marks on the edge right. there. That my, my mama, Louise Elba Bond Johnson, used in the kitchen and which she smacked me with on the little toucan numerous Let times. Let me see if it works. No, <laughs> no. Anyway. One up against the jowls right 40 now. <clears throat> some years ago, yeah, 48 years ago, 48 they, years this is ago. the recipe they used and it still works. It's a good one. Gee, you're getting all old, right. Laban. Two cups of flour and you got to put it into the sifter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Put your flour in the sifter. Put your flour in the sifter. Put this your flour in the sifter. Oops. And uh, that's a little more flour than I really needed. <laughs> and you don't want to get too carried away. You need to measure fairly. All right, there's two cups of flour. Sprinkle it all over right. me. I have a, an appearance to make. And after I this need program. some salt. Can I have the salt? I have the salt. Here you yeah. go. There well, you're you an appearance everywhere you go. You need a yes. half a teaspoon of salt. There is that. Beating up on me bad today. I don't and know what I did. I was three right good teaspoons mood. of Rumford baking powder. Now, let me tell you, you, you could use any baking, but we're using Rumford because it's their recipe. Mm. I buy these little cans because I don't bake a lot, and you know, you need to replace these every six months. So, one, two, three. All right, three teaspoons of baking powder. And now we're going to sift this down into a bowl. And we're going to cut in two tablespoons of shortening. And you could use any kind of solid shortening. Do not use oil because it won't work. All right. That takes care of the flour. And here is our 
two tablespoons full of, sh well, that was cute, wrapper and all. <laughs> all right. Now that goes down into the flour and flour it around just a little bit. And now here's grandma's pastry cutter. You could use two knives and cut it, but you need to do this and just cut this shortening into your flour and your other things in it, your baking powder and your salt. And you need to cut this up real good until your shortening is just cut up into little bitty pieces. And after that, we'll add the uh, liquid. But Larry, why don't you show us what you're, you're doing while I cut the shortening into the flour. Well, I have taken a, a green pepper and I'm just kind of chopping it up a little bit. Where are you taking it? And then I'm going to take an onion and do the same thing. And we have a little bit of olive oil heating on top of the stove right now. And what we have to do is chop this stuff up and saute it a little bit. And then we're going to throw some ground burger into it until it browns. So I've got to kind of get all of this started very quickly. And that's what I'm doing right now. So hang on, we'll take this and we'll throw all of that into here. Yow! Boy, it's hot. It really is. How hot is it? This is a good, good dish. I had some of this for supper or dinner yesterday evening, and I must say it's, it's real fine. A little salt and pepper on that too while you're at it, if you don't mind. Just a tiny little bit and a little pepper. I put quite a bit of pepper in mine. I like pepper. And we're going to saute that for just a couple of seconds until it gets just a little bit translucent. And then we have about a pound of uh, ground beef. And I got real lean beef so that I wouldn't have to pour off an awful lot of grease because there's not an awful lot of grease pouring off spots around here. We you know, do we, not have a grease pit in we, we don't. We have run out of grease pit places around here. Ever since old what's his name left. Well, no, we <laughs> we filled up uh, all of the camera tracks with it and we've just run out of places to put it anymore. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, so what I did is I got real lean ground beef. Oh, good. So that we won't have to worry about an awful lot of it to pour off. In fact, I don't tend to pour any of it off because I, I discovered yesterday evening when I when I did my first test one, that really this is so lean it really doesn't make too much okay, grease at Go ahead. Well, here are my dry ingredients and the shortening blended together. And now I'm going to add to it, I'm going to start out with about three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. I'm not going to pour it all in because you might have to add a little extra. So I've got some extra here on the counter. And you just diddle it around in the pan till it starts getting up into a, a lump here. Oh Lord, what are they pointing at now over there? Well, this is, looks like it's gonna be a little bit too dry. So I'm gonna add the rest of the buttermilk out of this little pitcher to it. Now don't drown the miller. Oh, I know. You told us about that several weeks ago. Well, I'm telling Don't you again. Don't add you too can never, much. Never want to do that. Hey, now listen, while you're doing that, i got to add. I have got this right where I want it. Now I'm going to add about a pound of beef in there, and we're going to brown that. So that's going to take a couple of seconds, so I thought I'd better go on ahead and get that started. And then, a little bit later on, we'll come back, and we just have lots of good things to throw into this. And that's it for right now. Just brown that real good. Well, my dough is almost ready. Now, you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you don't want to get your, uh, your dough too wet, and you don't want to mix it too much because your biscuits won't be light and fluffy. Now, here's some flour here on my board, and here comes the dough right out onto the board. Well, that looks like right respectable. Well, I think it is. You, we'll you're getting down... Now, I know I'll never hear the end of this because now you've gotten good at it and I still can't do it. But I have, oh, it's all right. I'll you want to just play with it just a little bit here till you, you but you, you don't need this stuff. Now, I'm going to cut it in half. This is my little cutter in half. You know, that guy, that, that uh, pizza gourmet that's on TV, uh -huh. he's just death on cutting his dough with one of these things. And we want you to know that we've got one too. Pizza McGilla cutter. Yeah. Anyway, so we're only going to use half of our dough. The other half goes over here. 
because you don't need all of this and we're just going to all right now there it is now let me put some flour here on top of oh listen to them this is a <laughs> I swear what does it mean? they're holding signs up now is there no rest for those people I have a, a, a friend an old country gal who makes some of the fluffiest biscuits in the world and she says the less you play around with this stuff the better off you are well, that's and you have to roll this out into kind of a rectangle and fairly thin Lordy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Listen to me. I Nick. was picking up something here on my They're making my fun aid. of us, Bly. <laughs> All right. Now, there is that. Yeah, I can clean off my rolling pan a little bit here. Well, let's go back to Bly. No, don't come back to me. Oh. I don't have anything to say. Oh, well, all right. I'm so still browning my beef. I mean, what can I do while I'm browning my beef? All right, well, well, I'll well, tell you. Well, wait. Why? He said, well, you came back to me. Give me a second. What I've done is I've opened up some whole tomatoes. This is one of those can shows that we're going to get in trouble oh, for. No. Well, I can't help it. The recipe calls for us to, uh, staff has caught a cold. And sneezing some right on our cameras. Corn, Ooh. some cut beans, and by the way, this is too big a can, but I'm going to use about half of that. <laughs> and, Did you ever uh, find out the size of a number two can? What's a number two can? Is this a number two can? It's a standard can. I didn't know that. I called Johnson yesterday afternoon and said, why do people do this kind of stuff to me? But anyway, so this it one's used too to say large. on a lot of them. That they this don't was anymore. Nobody two refers to things by size yeah. like that anymore. So anyway, while this stuff is browning, I'm going to drain all of this stuff out. Okay. okay. Well, and why, now back to you. Now I'm going to grate some sharp cheddar onto this because we're going to make a little jelly roll out of it. So I need just about oh a half a cup to anywhere from a half a cup to a cup right. of sh grated sharp cheddar. which I'm having, oh, my sharp cheddar is bending. All right, now doesn't that look good? Mm. Mm. All right, now. Yeah, it looks real good. Well, it does. Oh, look, I have squoze my cheddar half into. All right, Oh, now. I don't want to drain the tomatoes. <laughs> that would be a terrible Where's mistake. Where's my pizza gourmet thing? All right, now what you got to do, you got to lift this baby up. Lift this baby up. And roll it like a jelly roll. Do, 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 do. I'm just draining stuff back here. Don't get nervous, ladies and gentlemen. Just draining stuff. There's a pile of stuff goes in this thing. I didn't trust it, but it's real good. Now, once you, you've got your little gel, jelly roll, there it is, and I'm just going to Cheese, cheese roll. roll. Well, it's yeah. a jelly roll cheese roll. I swear they're getting picky. Picky, picky, picky. All right. Now. No, uh, they're getting right. <laughs> all right. Now we got to cut it up into little pieces. Yeah, those are pretty. Those are pretty. <laughs> and. Ooh, that's nice. Why don't you turn it around so they can see what it looks like when you cut it? <laughs> Perhaps I'd better leave him alone. <laughs> it looks like a gigantic finger on television. Uh -huh. Look at that. It does. A gigantic thumb. Well, you know, they've taken the tally lights off and you can't hardly tell where they're shooting uh -huh. from. Well, uh -huh. the tally lights oh, they're coming are from over here. In another studio side. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they found them distracting, so they put the uh -huh. tally lights elsewhere. I think the uh, manager back there in the back, uh, you know, he uses them to signify to people that he wants another cup of coffee uh, or, yeah. or whatever. Oh, Lord. Yeah, well, that's pretty. That's just real pretty. I wonder mm -hmm. how long we can all be fascinated by that. I don't know. Hmm. Long enough. Yeah? Yeah. How many of those will you get out of that, by the way, Laban? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'll get as many as we need. Uh, I figured what I'd do right few here is since the biscuits don't take too long to do, maybe I would r roll out the others and make us a little pan of biscuits. Ooh, how terrific. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Great mm -hmm. idea. 
Well, I'm still waiting for my beef to brown a little bit more here. It's just about there. Why don't we look at the recipes, and then I'll come back and add some of the stuff Listen, to this. Listen, can you that hear them I in there yelling, the recipes? Add to it. There we go. The cheese spins. Oh, you need a half of your favorite biscuit recipe, uh, one half to one cup of grated sharp cheddar cheese to taste. And uh, that's all you have to have for this recipe. It's easy as pie. Well, it almost is pie. Beef garden casserole, a medium onion chopped, a pound of ground beef, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, a number two can of green beans. Give me a break. 16 ounces. Let's try, okay? A can of whole kernel corn, a can of Campbell's tomato soup, a half a cup of tomato catsup, a can of tomatoes, a quarter cup of diced green pepper, and, and then, of course, the, the catsup ketchup, catsup, and then uh, the cheese spins which Mr. Johnson has just shown you how to make quite friskily and readily and wonderfully. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding some stuff to this. I have browned this. If you look in there, you'll see it is browned real, real well. And at this point, what we do is we start adding things to it. For instance, a can of tomatoes, which you may wish to chop up just a little bit, and I would chop them up. Ah! It exploded all over me. Let me have a knife, Doris. I need to chop these in half just a little bit. I like to do it right there in, in the pot. Oh, thank you, Doris, a real sharp knife. <laughs> I hope I don't hurt myself on this. <laughs> That's all right. There we go. Well, here, use it. No, no, I'm all finished. I don't need any fancy equipment. And uh, corn, thank you. <laughs> I became distracted there for a brief instant. And a can of tomato soup. Ladies and gentlemen, he come in here today just <laughs> terrible, distracted. He's just all to pieces. <laughs> they had moved my house and they hadn't told me. Uh -huh. All right. A whole can of tomato soup and you don't, and use it in its condensed form. Don't add water and all that stuff. You don't want to do that. And then we add some green beans. <laughs> About half of what I got here. Mmm, doesn't that look good? All right, we'll add some. Oh, sounds like Bossy is in here today. To the mix. Oh, and tomato catsup. About a half a thing of. Tomato catsup. That's the greatest of plenty. <laughs> I have discovered you don't have to be too delicate with this recipe because it will work out all right. Mix it all around, and what you will do is you will sort of just simmer this along. I've got it much too hot. Simmer it along for about 10 minutes on top of the stove at this point. Did I leave anything out? I hope not. I haven't been paying any attention to the recipe because I did it yesterday and it worked out pretty good. And at this point, you may want to re-season it after you've had a little chance to see what all the flavors are like. And believe it or not, this does look like quite a, a mess, but it really is a lovely, it, it really is very tasty. It gets very thick and, and quite delightful. And in about 10 minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a baking dish, casserole dish, and we will take Mr. Johnson's cheese spins, which he has just uh, turned out for us, and we will put those on top. And then you put them in the oven and you bake it for 20 minutes at 400 degrees, which we're, we've got the real one in the oven going mm -hmm. right now. Now, what are you doing, Mr. Johnson? Well, I'm just gonna use the rest of this biscuit dough to, to uh, make some biscuits. They need to be at least a half inch, three quarter inch thick. Uh -huh. And uh, this is, again, a family heirloom that I grew up with. And these are our little biscuits. And how long, <laughs> how long, <laughs> excuse me, someone on the floor fell over uh -huh. something. That's always amusing. As long as they didn't hurt themselves. Too bad. Yeah, as long as they don't <laughs> hurt themselves too terribly badly. Now, oh, you know, another little thing. How long use, will you bake those? Oh, uh, the biscuits? Yeah. Uh, you bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes in a quick oven. Or it's until lightly. But now, do you put a little milk on the edges of yours, a little no, margarine No, you really ought, yeah, a little margarine. You ought to put a little melted margarine on top of them. Uh -huh. Now, what we used to do with this, and I'm not going to do it because I don't have to drag all the stuff out, is we would take the scraps that were left 
and you'd put a mixture of sugar and cinnamon and any other kind, like a little bit of nutmeg and some nuts or something, and you'd roll it all up into a little bundle like this and make a, a bee's nest, is what my grandmother called it. And they would be delicious. You'd bake that, and we always loved the bee's nest. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it into a, we're gonna put it into nothing because I can't lift anything. I'm gonna put it into a casserole dish. What do you need? You need pot holders? No, don't no. do anything. Like so. Do, 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 and smush it all down so it doesn't fall out when you go to pick it up. Okay, and now, <clears throat> Mr. Johnson. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Yes. Johnson. Yes. You're, you're wanted at the casserole. Oh, where? Oh, I did. Oh, no, I put them in the oven because I. <laughs> I w well, wait a minute. Here, we'll just put these. I just uh, some. This has been oh, some no. combined effort here at the uh, station. Oh, give me a break. Well, you were supposed to put those little things, but I put them up here in the oven because I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Where's that pot holder? We can reclaim them. Here we here we did this as a combined effort, and he comes along and does that. Well, well that just goes it. to show when you work with, with people who are losing, oh, there we go. Now, if you did what you were supposed to do, they would go on, they would go on there like this, okay? <laughs> and you put them a little That's bit okay. apart. That'll be all right. They were starting to head up a little bit there. Yes, indeedy. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Doris, I can't believe you stood over there and didn't say a word to she me. She didn't pay any attention. She's watching something else. She's watching something else. <laughs> I guess I ought to go ahead and take the real thing out, but I have to have something to set it on. Well, I'll do it. And you're standing on my microphone cord, and I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, That's an eternity on this show. Okay. Well, I can't believe it. With these big old fat biscuits, this came out just perfect. Well, isn't that lovely? It worked out. It looks like a traffic pattern of some kind. Uh -huh. Okay, let me show you the real thing when it comes out. It's the real thing, baby. Well, they didn't brown on top, but the, the cheese has melted. We'll let you take a look at that. It is real pretty, I think. Isn't that lovely? Look at that cheese in there melting around. It ought to be, uh, probably mm. could go just a couple of more minutes brown just but a little bit. But I think they're fine. Well, let's yeah. get over here to the table. Oh, we've got to have some kind of a serving spoon. I think I have to have some kind of a serving spoon. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> she gets an extra $20 every time her hand goes into the Oh, set. wait a minute. Oh, wait we a haven't minute. done the witch yet. <laughs> oh, Miss Witch, come here, baby. <laughs> I'm just about worn out with, with this thing. I'll be quite honest with you. Let me set this down. And the witch says, <laughs> <laughs> that'll teach you to make fun of me. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, it's written on a piece of board, a piece of slat, slat of hey, some kind. Hey, chump, <laughs> me and Bessie are going to a tent show at the fire. After that, us and the podunks are coming here to eat. What do we service? Herman O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what's the answer? Uh, 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 next uh, week we'll be at the theater. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, it's, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. be at the theater next week. We'll <laughs> actually be at a real theater, cooking right in the theater that's next right. week. That's right, we will, won't we? Well, now let's get over here. Is there anything this, else that we, that no, we that's left enough. undone? I mean, is there anything? Yes, there are what? two or three people that we forgot <laughs> to tell what we thought of. <laughs> Our executive producer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Let me have this thing. Oh. This is just, you get rid of your frustrations. Oh, how terrible. <laughs> Well, don't drop it in my food, please. Oh, well, well I'm going to say, what were you getting ready to put your fork in there, Johnny? You a little hungry today? Here, let me get this. Let me get you one of these oh, special. Thanks. That's the greatest plan. Here, let Thank me get you, you so some... much. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the biscuits are done and they're flaky and oh, wonderful. Uh huh. <laughs> this one's sort of rolling around a little bit. Mmm. Well, what do you think, John? Now, be honest. Don't don't make something up. Well, it isn't done. It's a little doughy on the bottom. I wonder what would cause that. Lack of heat. It's real cold down near the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. There's never going to be anybody accused of this oven. <laughs> How long has it been in there? Too long. About 30 minutes. 
That's why the biscuits aren't quite as done as they should mm -hmm. be, but that's okay. We'll eat them raw. They're mm. close to it. Well, it's not bad. Actually, They're good. this is a tasty dish, and I'd make it at home myself. It I is would. good. I like it. Too bad it's not hot. Goodbye.